Hi again, everyone. Hope you enjoyed my last three uh, reviews of NES games. I'm going to shift gears a little bit, literally shift gears. Um, I, got, I got a special game for you today. I got Cruising USA for the N64. It's out in, what did it say, 1994, 96? Um, childhood favorite of mine. I would often go into the arcade and play this. They had, um, it was really fun playing it on an arcade you know, terminal like that. Arcade, uh, you know, big hard arcade game. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I still think it is a lot of fun uh, to play even today. I have this on my emulator at home, and I play it very often. Uh, so basically, yeah, you get this screen. You get about, I don't know, eight or nine, maybe ten possible places where you can race. It's different cities around the country where you can race. Hence the uh, name of the game, Cruising USA. So I think I picked Iowa. Yeah, I picked Iowa for my first city here to race in. And uh, it's actually, it, it's it's pretty exciting. And I think the environments are actually, for for the time, I think the environments looked pretty good. As you know, N64 kind of... Um, Kind of, you know, gave you like a 3D gaming environment, sort of. Is kind of the one of the uh, Nintendo's very uh, first systems to do so, and uh, I think it did a very good job. N64 is has been and always will be a classic any uh, classic Nintendo system, and it's still loved by several ni hardcore Nintendo fans to this date. And uh, this game is no exception. This is probably this is. I'm a huge racing fan to begin with, and I've always loved playing this game. It's just the the environments are amazing. the The gameplay in this was really good. I mean, really good for the time period. So, you know, what I think I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna let you watch this race. I'm not gonna um, obviously bring it through every city. I'm gonna let you watch this, and I'm gonna do one of um, the race in Chicago on the expert level, just to give you an idea of the uh, the detail and the uh, give you a feel for the gameplay and stuff. So I'm gonna take a break for now. Okay, so here's the uh, Chicago level that I was gonna uh, that I said I would show you. And yeah, just look look at the uh, by judging by the detail here, it really it really looks good for the time. I think, I think they did a pretty good job of uh, of presenting the uh, the gaming environments and making you feel like you're actually in the city. I think, I think they did that. And, and being a Chicago resident myself, this is one of the uh, places you can I can especially uh, appreciate. Now, what happens here, basically, now, um, what makes this especially fun for the arcade is not only that you have to, uh, it's not only that you get to drive with a, they give you a steering wheel controller, but, uh, um, you, if you win a free game, you get to, if you win, if you come in first place in a game, you get, you get a free game, basically, as long as you can come in first place. So as long as you get first place, you win a free game. And that's actually really good. That's, I mean, that, that's a big incentive to play the game because, the game usually is about a dollar, sometimes like a dollar fifty in most arcades. And the arcade I used to play this in, it was a, it was usually a dollar. So, so there would always be a big, in, a big incentive from, um, to win the game, because if I won the game, I won, that was one less dollar that I had to, I had to spend on arcade games. I could just play this again for free. And if you're, you know, I'm trying to think how this works. I think there is a difficulty sliding bar. I think I'm just on the easy one. That's why I'm doing so well. 
but if you uh, in cruising you in the actual um, mode where you go across the country racing, you have to place first in every race. So obviously, as you can tell, that's going to be harder as you continue as you raise the level, the difficulty level, because you have to come in first in every race in order to proceed to the next city. Uh, you can see you take that Route 101 and it goes all the way to 70, which is by Washington D.C. And uh, at the end, once you're done with that, you you actually unlock another vehicle, which is cool. You unlock a faster car that you can use, um, prefer um, preferably on the uh, next difficulty level, next skill difficulty level. Um, so I'm actually going to take you to the part right now where I actually beat the game, where uh, I went. From I think it was Los Angeles all the way to uh, Washington D.C. Uh, and I, I I don't know what my time was, but uh, I'm gonna show you a little celebration they have. There's the, there it is. There's the screen, coast to coast. They show you your time, and they give you a kind of a strange celebration scene here. I I don't know. This is kind of strange. They got a cow up there. I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna ask. But the the important thing is that you get a faster car unlocked. So I could use that. I could use the car that they're showing. I could use that on another uh, difficulty level, and it'd be really, uh, and it would come in handy. So yeah, that's that's cruising USA for you. Um, my official rating of this game: four and a half out of five stars. One of the greater racing games for N64. Thanks, guys. See ya.